In this video, we'll continue to look at how the Uniform Commercial Code, the UCC, modifies the mirror image rule. If you recall, in Part 1 we looked at additional terms, such as where a buyer orders 10 apples for $100 and the seller's acceptance says, sure, 10 apples, $100, and we'll be wrapping those apples in plastic. And we learned additional terms can become part of the contract unless they materially alter the contract or if the offerer says you can't add any terms to this offer or finally if the offerer objects to the additional terms within a reasonable amount of time. But now let's say we have two merchants and a buyer decides to order some tires. She orders 10 tires for $500 and she has a provision stating that any dispute must be litigated within three years. In other words, if a party discovered a problem in connection with the contract in 2015, she would have until 2018 to commence the lawsuit. And the seller states that he accepts the offer, but his acceptance form says, sure, 10 tires for $500, but any litigation must be brought within one year. So here we have different or contradicting terms. Under the traditional mirror image rule, because the seller's terms are different from the buyer's terms, we would not have a contract. But the UCC tells us that even if an acceptance doesn't match the offer, we can still have a contract. And there are three major approaches that courts take to deal with contradictory or different terms in an acceptance. And the most common approach is called the knockout rule, which we'll be looking at in this video. And our two other approaches are the fallout rule and to treat the contradictory terms the same as additional terms. Under the knockout rule, the contradictory terms are going to knock each other out. They're going to be taken out of the contract. We have 10 tires for $500, but the contradictory terms should be eliminated under the knockout rule. Now our contract has the terms that the parties agreed on, 10 tires for $500, so far so good. But how long do parties have to commence a lawsuit? Remember, the court just knocked those contradictory terms out of the contract. The answer is that the Uniform Commercial Code, that statute, will provide us with the missing terms. In this case, the UCC would probably tell us that the parties should have four years to commence a litigation. So if there's a problem in connection with the contract that's discovered in 2015, parties will have until 2019 to commence a litigation. If you have any questions about the UCC or any other matter related to U.S. law, feel free to submit your comments below and stop on my website, blog, and forum.